It was once a beacon of light for an entire country, home to 500 monks, a seat of learning and spiritual fulfillment. Through the Middle Ages, thanks to the university it opened in the 14th century, it drew the leading philosophers, theologians, musicians and artists of the time and was at the forefront of education. Little remains of the glorious past of the 9th century Tatev Monastery in southern Armenia, but that could soon change thanks to an ambitious restoration project. Within these imposing walls, three churches and various monuments make up the present complex. Now the Tatev Revival Project, a public-private initiative, plans to restore the monastery, reviving both its monastic and its scholarly tradition. The restoration will include the famous swinging column, a feat of medieval engineering. Built in 904 AD, this 8-metre-high pillar is crowned with a stone cross. But its beauty lies in its pivoting base, which allowed it to tilt. An earth tremor or the sound of the hooves of enemy horses pounding on the ground would be enough to set it in motion, alerting the monks to danger. But the column couldn't prevent the destruction created by a massive earthquake 80 years ago. After the 1931 earthquake, um, the monastery was partially restored on, on several occasions, but in the 1980s, during the final years of the Soviet era, there was a full restoration effort. And that was unfortunately uh, largely flawed. Uh, there were mistakes in, in, in structural mistakes, there was um, uh, water leakage. Among the monuments that urgently need work are the base of the tower bell and the dome of the St. Paul and St. Peter Church, the main church of the monastery. The upper part of the perimeter fence is also damaged. Gayane Kaznati is one of the specialists who will carry out the restoration of the site. She's also one of the top experts on the monastery. Kaznati divides her time between Armenia and Italy, where she works in the Armenian Studies Center in Milan. Euronews asked her to explain the renovation project. This monastery has had a very troubled history. From its initial construction until today, the monument has been repeatedly damaged through earthquakes or enemy attacks. Since 1920, it's been practically abandoned, and now the church wants to bring it back to the same level of past centuries, when it was considered a beacon of light in Armenia. One of the first interventions will concern these unattractive cement leakages which arise from the restoration carried out in the 1980s. A low quality and very liquid cement was used, which leaked down the walls, even covering old inscriptions. The same low quality cement caused the appearance on the walls of incrustations of salt, which damaged the stones and therefore have to be removed. Restoring the interior of the Cathedral of St. Paul and St. Peter will require particular attention. Its walls were decorated with frescoes, visible in photos taken prior to the 1931 earthquake. This one shows a representation of a throned Christ surrounded by prophets and saints. Now the frescoes have almost completely disappeared. During the Soviet restoration, the church's floor was replaced by colored marble, which is not really in keeping. The floor will be relayed using more appropriate stones. But this is not just about restoring Tatev. The plan is also to create a viable tourist industry for surrounding villages. There are six villages surrounding the Dativ area on either side of the gorge, um, and they are very impoverished. Dativ Monastery is the competitive advantage of, of this area. Uh, these people do not have very competitive agriculture, there are no natural resources, but they have Dativ. And so this will bring tourists, this will bring livelihoods, it will create jobs for them. Promoters hope the monastery will eventually draw students, artists, academics and even pilgrims and that it will once again be a beacon of light, at least for this corner of Armenia.